This is an hour-long TV series that will look at the newest alternative to family and friends finding a way to travel together to some not always well-known stops in and around the Great Lakes. No five-hour car rides, no creaky motorhomes that cost hundreds of dollars to fuel at every third exit on the crowded highways, and no standing in long lines at the big airport where you have to take off your shoes, your belt, and in many cases, your dignity just to get to your flight on time. This new television series is about going almost wherever you want, whenever you want. And it's having the opportunity to see some out of the way, but right down the street kind of locations in Michigan and around the Great Lakes. What an adventure this will be. We'll take you on flight ventures and learn how easy and fun it is to be your own pilot, own your own plane, go at your own pace, and well, do it whenever you'd like. Now that's an adventure we like to call flight ventures. It's a travel show and a flying show. It's general aviation taken to a new level. It's learning to fly, then how to get to some of the most beautiful stops in and around the Great Lakes. I'm Andrea. And I'm Jeremy. Our hosts and flying companions are two very energetic young people with a real passion for flying and looking for some of the most unique places to visit. Want to know more? Watch and enjoy as we take you on an adventure you haven't seen very often before. It's from our flight deck, and we're ready for takeoff. This is Flight Ventures. You get a new home, a new car. How about a new airport? We have one right here for you in Oakland County, Michigan. Why don't we go inside and meet David Vanderveen, the airport director of Oakland County International Airport. We have a long history. Uh, uh, since those beginnings, uh, this has grown into the second busiest airport in the state of Michigan. How do we spark the interest between people and general aviation? How do we get things going? Because that's really what we're trying to create here. Uh, the program you're doing, I think, is a tremendous uh, advertisement for aviation, what you can do with it as you explore Michigan. Uh, we, we have an open house every year and uh, 20,000 of our closest friends come out and see the airport on, on that particular day. And There's no better way to promote that and get people excited about it than to actually see it. Dave, thank you very much for having us out to Oakland County International Airport and this brand new beautiful terminal. Well, I think you've got an exciting program and thank an exciting story to tell. Sponsors and investors can take note of the numbers of the new aviation boom in North America and that translates to dollars and on-target demographics. And there's a little travel thrown in to help connect the whole family. Runway 27 left, clear for a takeoff, straight out, uh, departure approved. 7700 uniform, thank you very much. Each week, we'll take a flight venture with you, the viewer, to places you've probably heard of, but never thought the travel time was worth investing in the trip. Break and right in three, two, one. We'll show you how to do it, and how much fun it can be from above. Good morning, Lance Pro, Shessel Skyhawk 7700 Uniform, standing by with the bus. 7700 Uniform, we are about 22 miles to the east, southeast of the field. Uh, we're at 4,500 feet. We'd like to just request transition through Lansing Airspace. We are going from here direct to Holland, Michigan, Tulip City Airport. West Michigan Regional, we are over the top of the runway. Landing, West Michigan Regional, here's your uniform. Oh, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> These are beautiful. Sally, thank you for having us out today. So now being the, the past president of the festival, tell us a little bit about it. Well, the festival was started in 1929 by a school teacher named Lida Rogers, who really thought that the area at, 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 during those years needed to have a festival. And uh, she, she was a gardener and loved to plant tulips. And what you see now is, is 84 years later, we have a wonderful festival that has happened every year since. You're saying that this windmill came from Holland? In Absolutely. Europe. Absolutely, and they brought it over by a boat uh, owned by the king of the Netherlands. It's just a great fit. Why did the windmill come here? It's because we have a real Dutch settlement here. Uh, in 1874, Van Raalte came to the side of the state and he felt at home, and that felt like he was in the Netherlands. We'll be back with more flight ventures right after this short break.
Walker. Thank you for inviting us here to Holland. It's been a great time. It's beautiful here. Well, thank you so much for, for being here and for flying into town. Uh, it's really great having you here, and you've picked a really fantastic time to be in Holland. Yeah, we've been having a blast here in Holland. Can you tell us, what is it like to be mayor of such a beautiful place? Well, it's always a privilege and an honor, but this time of year, it really one makes one's buttons burst a little bit because uh, as you look around here and look around town, uh, obviously the, the flowers are in full bloom, uh, everything is fun, and there's just a great spirit of what's happening around town. So it's great. This time of year, it's exceptionally great. Thanks for coming. Uh, enjoy your time here in Holland, and be sure to have a safe flight home. We will. Thank you. Thank you. We've got the whole family watching, the world of general aviation, and a growing demographic with enormous spendable income connected. Now all we need is you.